Sandwich Rugby versus Sivangesi in Vodacom United Rugby Championship North versus South. Squidge Rugby, my friend. Squidge Rugby, how are you doing, my brother? I would say to you, Akuna Matata, but there's a lot to be worried about. How are you doing, brother? Yeah, I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm keeping through all the things to worry about. I'm just getting on. How are you? How are you doing? I'm happy that I'm not you because the South absolutely dominated once again. We won all of our games. It's officially 21 games to the South and 14 to the North. Ooh. Ooh. See, it I, means no worries for the rest of your days. <laughs> it's yeah. still within a converted try. It's still within a converted try of coming back. Seven really isn't that much. There's lots of time left on the clock. Uh, I think I think it's frankly all to play for still. All right. It was pretty simple. What a week it was from the South. It was Sharks 51 to Dragons 3. Poor Dragons. Bulls 31 to 16 for Ulster. Ooh, Thor was contained again. Lions 15. Edinburgh 9. Very important for us as the South. And Stormers, DHL Stormers all the way. It goes Ospreys. It was 29-13. Any comments? See, yeah, the thing about that Stormers Ospreys game, right? First possession the Ospreys had, Gareth Anscombe throws the ball straight at his centre's face. Ospreys score three points from it. I feel if they, if all the Northern teams had stuck to that tactic, they probably would have won this weekend. And yet they just, they just didn't. They just didn't stick to throwing the ball at their own players' faces. Ah, it's not looking good. I repeat, twenty-one wins for the South and fourteen for the North. Now let's move mm, into this particular thing that we've been discussing for a while: the log. Now let's talk about the log. I see. Five Northern teams in the top five positions. Five out of the top eight and the top five, all the home playoffs, all going to Northern teams. Three of the Irish teams, two Scottish teams. It looks pretty great up the top. I'll be honest, as a Southern, uh, a Southern man, I'm not very happy about seeing all of those Northern uh, people in the North. But if you don't, if you're watching this for the first time, just know it's about the top eight getting into the top eight to see who gets a home quarterfinal and we see what happens. At the moment, we've got DHL Stormers there at number six. We have Vodacom Bulls at number seven, South Sea Sharks at number eight. Let's hope they all stay at number eight. But let's be honest, it's looking very good for the North in the log yeah. at the current and month. The further north you go, the better it gets. You've got Glasgow, the most northern team in the whole competition. In third, you've got Ulster, the most northern team in Ireland. In second, it's looking pretty great, especially for the Irish teams. Again, you've got Leinster, Munster and Ulster all in the top three, all in the top four. Uh, it's looking really, really good for a few of those teams. Leinster have finished top like, of every league they've played in for about 30 years. So it looks pretty safe for them. They're 10 points ahead of the top. But everything else, is, there's far more to play for in terms of who gets the other, the other home spots, the other three home spots. All right, so this particular week, it's the catch-up games for, the, the, for the us in the South, and we have an unbelievable game that I cannot wait to see. It's DHL Stormers versus Vodacom Bulls right here in the Cape. And I just want to say that DHL Stormers have been looking very, very consistent, unstoppable, and I look forward to seeing the incredible game. Last week, Vodacom Bulls looked unbelievable. Some of the players in the Vodacom Bulls were playing in front of a full audience for the first time. How crazy is that? It was unbelievable. But this week, it's going down. It's South African North versus South African South. No Northern team playing South African side this weekend, so I'm feeling like we're going to have two draws. Uh, coming up, which should be very exciting uh, for you guys to just experience two nil-nil draws, which I've never seen a full a full game finish nil-nil. So I'm very, very excited to see that. As a Cape Town-born man, I am going with DHL Stormers all the way. I think DHL Stormers have been consistent. They've been amazing. The back three have been prolific. Damon Villinsa, unbelievable. We've got Kishoff, who's been a beast, the ginger ninja. And we have ah, Malherba is back, scrumming everyone to a standstill. So for me, the strength of the fours with the Vodacom Bulls will mean nothing. I say definitely DHL Stormers by, by nine, I say, I say. And I, I think a free all draw. I'm going to be generous. I'm going to be generous. I've been loving the banter between DHL Stormers and Vodacom Bulls. Uh, you've got to check it out. They have been tripping each other on Twitter and social media the entire time. We've got another great game coming up. We've got uh, South Sea Sharks versus Emirates Lions. Cohen Bosch has been firing. Werner Koch has been cutting lines like he's back at sevens. What do you, what do you think about that game? We've got uh, South Sea Sharks versus Emirates Lions. The thing you've got to ask with this game is who would win in the real fight between a shark and a lion? 
And the really important thing in that would be home advantage. And so the fact the Sharks are playing at home this week <laughs> makes me think that they would... they In the water, in the ocean, a shark would kill a lion. Whereas you feel on the savannah the other way around might be slightly different. So I think with home advantage, you've got to look at the Sharks. I must be honest, I back anything Sia Khaleesi does. I must be honest, and I don't want to go against uh, Sia Khaleesi ever. So I back the Sharks, and you agree the Sharks are going to win as well. Card of Scarlets, I'm going my favorite color, Scarlets. I, Scarlets for the win. I don't know. I, I have no view here. It's difficult to support a Northern team, but I go with the Scarlets. See, yeah, I think the Scarlets played very, very well last week against them. Uh, looked great, but I don't think they've ever... Bad. But I don't think this entire time into APL they've backed the game up. So I reckon the Cardiff Blues, big response this weekend, could come out on top. Well, listen, yeah, I'm so glad for you that this particular week we won't be playing any of your teams so you can actually get a chance to win as the North. And this week it's just going to be us versus us. So we'll see you next week, my friend. Congratulations on not having a loss this coming week. <laughs> North, congratulations. A whole win. One whole win. I can't wait. Cheers, buddy. We'll see you next week. Akuna Mitchell. North versus South.